Welcome back to the Corporate Alchemist Show uh, with your host, Reverend A. Todd Jackson, where we have conversations in practical spirituality. Um, the question today is, how do you see yourself? What is your mental picture of yourself? You know, is your esteem high? Is it low? You know, that's the question. Because what, how you see yourself is how far you're going to go. Whatever imagery you have of yourself, you know, whatever focus you have of yourself is how far you go. You know, the thing that you focus on, the thing that you put on your mind, have on your mind consistently is the direction in which you're going. So uh, our conversation today is basically, you know, how do you see yourself? You know, where do you see yourself going? What's, what's your vision of yourself? You know, uh, I use again, we're going back to this book again. I know, it's, I think it's one of the most powerful books ever written. And I know some of you may disagree, some of my brothers and sisters in the so-called conscious community. Uh, you want to throw that, everything away, but the reason you want to throw this away is because you don't understand it. And you don't understand the codes or, or the way to unlock the codes. So Proverbs 29 and 18 states, Where there is no vision, the people perish. And that is strictly for you on an individual basis. If you don't have no vision, you might not die, but you're going to be locked down. You're going to be stuck in your same situation, your same condition. The only way to change your life is to change your mind. You know, until you can do that, find a way to do that. Unfortunately, a lot of us haven't been shown how to do that. A lot of us don't know how to do that. So basically, if you change the way you think, you can change your life. I know it sounds easy, but it may be hard. But it can be done because there's too many people doing it. Change the way you think you can change your life. Change the way you see yourself and your life will change. Have a vision. If you have a vision, then you won't perish. So our, our conversation today is, how do you see yourself? And we looked at the Proverbs 29 and 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. So the technique, the thing we want to do, is visualization. So what is visualization? Visualization is a mental image, a mental picture that you put in your mind. The most, the most powerful instrument that God has given you is your mind. You know, you can sit up and pray and you know pray about any and everything, but God has already given you everything you need. Some stuff y'all don't need to be praying about. Y'all just need to get up and go do it. You need to paint the picture in your mind of what you want, of where you want to see your life, where you want to see your destiny. Because your faith and your belief about yourself is really as far as you're going to go. You know, so, and I know society has beat, has beat us down, has beat people down, has beat individuals down, has beat races down, uh, because society has dictated what people think about themselves. It has set the standard for beauty for, for what people think about themselves. So that's why it's important for you to make your own visualization. For you to set your own picture. That's why you know, if you choose to use a vision board and it helps you, great. It's graphics. Put pictures on your wall, on your mirror, whatever the case may be. You use that to help yourself. Your imagination is basically going to influence your aspiration. You can't go any further than it. It determines your destiny. And the, the part, the, the, the last part of that verse, 29 and 18, is talking about casting off. In order to get the shackles off of your mind, because now what we're dealing with is the conscious and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is going to do everything to tell you what you can't do. Whenever you make up your mind, say, okay, well, I'm going to change tomorrow. Monday, I'm going to start exercising. Monday, I'm going to quit eating all them sweets. You know, da 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 I'm going to either go vegan, but then something in, the, in your mind is a, a trigger and say, I, yeah, well, you know, uh, 
you really ain't got the money to go pay for that stuff. You ain't got the time to exercise. So you, it's a battle between your conscious and your subconscious mind. So how do we fix that with our visualization? You paint the image and the picture in your mind. And then you begin the process of your affirmations of repeating to yourself what you need to do over and over and over. Talking about what the pictures you need to paint in your mind. How, how do you want your health to be? How do you want your finances to be? Your relationships to be? See, the subconscious mind deals in right now. It, it, it doesn't deal in time. So when you make your affirmations, when you make your prayers, you pray that it's already done. Not in the future, not I won't, you know, it should, it could. No, it's right now. I have. I am dealing the already done, being done, dealing the now, because that's how the subconscious mind works. So what you ask for and what you see on your paper, on your chart, on your vision board, whatever, see yourself having it. See yourself with it. Feel it. See it. Smell it. Taste it. Whatever. That's the way you can change the subconscious mind. That's the way that you begin to bring your vision into reality, into destiny. Now, hey, I, I ain't promise you it's gonna happen tomorrow. You know, some of y'all didn't get in this mess overnight. You know, this this is a it's been a while, but however long it takes, you you start the process right now of changing your life and changing the way you think is critical to the, all of that. You know, Proverbs 23 and 7 states, for as, a, for as he's thinking in his heart, so is he. The mind and the heart are basically one of the same. You know, your thought process, which you need to examine. And the best way to do this is do go through some type of meditation. Whether it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever is good for you. Get, get into a, a quiet place. A sacred space of yours, wherever that may be, if it's in your closet, your car, wherever, and ask yourself the question, you know, what is it uh, that I need to do? You know, a lot of times we, we really don't, we don't know what questions to formulate for ourselves. And so I'm, I'm sure God, the spirit world, understands your sincerity. He understands your humility. And that's what God responds to. He responds to your sincerity. So you find that place, that quiet place, and ask the question. Remember we said there are four, four, four important questions that everybody needs to ask. Who am I? Where did I come from? What is my purpose here? And what must I do to fulfill it? So right now you get in a quiet place and ask the question, well, who am I? And sit there long enough in stillness without a lot of clutter, no noise around, turn the radio off, turn the TV off, and just listen for the voice of God. And I promise you, it will begin to speak. Now, you might get some crazy thoughts that pop up in your head, but that's cool. Because that, that's going to happen. But you need to get to the point to where you ask the question and you get some type of meditation. I think the next important thing is you, you need to begin to examine what's happening around you. You know, start looking at the folks around you. You're the sum total of the five people around you. One, two, three, four, and then you five. So if everybody broke, if all the four folks around you broke, you broke, that's five. You Tom so Tom's the sum total of that. Everybody around you negative. Hey, you the sum total of that. Everybody around you is is speaking deaf to the situations. You know, uh, you the sum total. So you're smart enough to look around and check out what's going on around you. I'm not saying you, you get rid of people, but when you begin to move in your destiny, when you begin to move into the, the reason that you're here, where God put you on this planet, some of these folks will begin to separate. And then those people that can help you will come into your life. You know, another part, another prayer you can do is, is what I did 
was probably the most simple and helped me the most was I prayed for God send the people to me that can help me with their time, their resources, and at some point I can reciprocate and help them. So pray, pray and ask for people to come into your life. The, the people that can help you, that can influence you, people that are going to make deposits in your life. And quit walking around with people that's all they're doing is making withdrawals. So that's, that's one of the things, I think the first thing you can do, uh, along with the visualization, is just paint the picture what you want. How you want to see yourself. You know, you are the God of your own affairs. And I, and I know they just shook some folks. Some folks just hit this. They just hit the off button. But you are responsible for your own situation, not nobody else's. That's why you need to stay out of other folks' business. Mind your own. You are the God of your own affairs. And what I mean by that is, God has equipped you with everything you need. He's equipped you with, with, the, with, with being in the right mind, the right frame of mind, to change your situations. And so, uh, you know, Christ said he came to give life and give it more abundantly. And to me, hey man, that's all you need to know. That's, that's, that is all you need to know to get out your situation and know that your situation can improve. All right, family, in conclusion, we know Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. If you don't have a vision, you're going to perish. So in this point, from this, this point on, begin to visualize. And also remember, take into account that the subconscious mind believes or deals in the already. It, de it deals in the now, not what's, what's to come. So when you pray and ask for things, ask for it now. And take into account how you feel, you know, you feel your emotions, your, your smell, everything is in the now. So uh, again, you know, here the corporate alchemists where we have conversations and practical spirituality all the way from self-awareness, cooperative economics. I want to encourage you, hey, pick, up, pick up this book, Intended Design, A Journey to Self-Awareness. You can get it on Amazon.com, Lulu.com, and also uh, for those that are in the travel, the travel industry, hey man, you're going to travel anyway, so you might as well get paid for it. Get with me on that. So that's the conclusion. I want to pre I appreciate everybody. Thank you for, for listening to me. And when you see this video, hey, at the bottom, hit share and, and like and send it to somebody else. Peace.